Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlights. Ikure Madu, wife found guilty of organ harvesting. Obaseki, deputy expressed concern over low voter turnout. SDP governorship candidate says that Kwabiodun's victory, a rape of democracy. Reps clash over fresh bill to legalize marijuana. A former deputy Senate president, Iku Ikurumado, his wife Beatrice, have been found guilty of, of organ harvesting in the United Kingdom. The duo, alongside a medical doctor, Dr. Obinau Beta, were found guilty of facilitating the travel of a young man to Britain with a view to his exploitation from a six-week trial at the Old Valley. The criminally conspired to bring the 21-year-old Lagos Street trader to London to exploit him for his kidney, according to the jury. The Garden UK reports that the judge, Justice Jeremy Johnson, will pass a sentence at a later date. Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has attributed the low turnout of voters in the state to the high presence of security agencies manning the nooks and crannies of the state. He expressed worry at the situation, noting that it was different from what happened at the presidential election. Also, Deputy Governor Philip Shaibo expressed similar concern that such militarization of election would disenfranchise voters in future elections. And the Social Democratic Party governorship candidate in Ogun State, Anthony Ojeshino, has described the declaration of Governor Dakwa Abiodun as winner of Saturday's election by the Independent National Electoral Commission as a rape on the country's democracy. He said the election ought to have been declared inconclusive due to the margin of lead if compared with the number of cancelled votes across the state. The state returning officer, Professor Kaode Adebowale, had declared that Kwabiodun winner of the election after scoring 276,298 votes out of the 663,968 votes cast. That Kwabiodun defeated his closest rival, Ladi Adebutu of the People's Democratic Party, who scored 262,383 votes. Reacting to the development, Anthony Ojeshino, who had initially pitched a stent with the PDP governorship candidate, described INEC's position as a rape of democratic process. He promised that his political party is set to join other groups in ensuring that justice is served on the matter. Some members of the House of Representatives clashed on Wednesday over a bill seeking to legalize cultivation, sale, and use of cannabis, also known as marijuana, as commercial, for commercial purposes. Two members of the House, Benjamin Kalu and Ulumidi Oshoba, had sponsored a fresh bill seeking to amend the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency Act to expand the scope of the Anti-Narcotics Agency to issue licenses for the cultivation, sale, and use of marijuana. The legislation was tied to the bill for an act to amend the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency Act, Cap N30, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004, to confer additional responsibility of the power to grant and revoke licenses for the cultivation of cannabis. The bill is a consolidated version of Kadu and Oshoba separate bills numbered HBS 1190 and 1918.